Good evening, Coast of Well, welcome back. Meteorologist Diamond Dixon here taking a live look outside our CCAC camera overlooking Snoopy's Pier. We had a hot Saturday that we, boy, we did, right? Well, fun fact, we actually hit 100 degrees today. We didn't hit a record per se, but to hit 100 was pretty crazy, especially because we haven't hit it that many times this year. As far as our temperature and a few likes around the coastal bin, we're at 87 here in Rockport and Port Aransas, 85 there in Ingleside, 84 here in Corpus Christi, and 85 in Robstown as well as Kingsville. Now around this time of night, we start to see our feels like go into the double digits versus triple digits, but some are still holding on to that triple digit like Rockport. But other than that, we're kind of in the mid to upper 90s for our feel like. As we move through, once again, I was mentioning we hit 100 for our high today. The record was 103 back in 2023, so not as hot as we could have been, which we also kind of talked about that in our weather cast this week, that we're actually not as hot as we usually would be around this time of year. But once again, we still have plenty of heat on the way. As far as hour by hour, how we're moving, we'll be just at 80 degrees there by 3 a.m. with the winds coming out of the south. But those winds are going to be very light, especially as we move into the morning hours and they'll remain calm. We come out of that 80 degree threshold just at 5 a.m. at 79 degrees. And as we work our way into our Sunday morning, we quickly heat up there just at 9. We're 86 and then we quickly get to 90 by 11 a.m. As far as those winds, though, we could see the windiest part of our days was today and will be tomorrow and then they taper off just more as we go into our work week where you could see Monday we maybe would go up to 15 to 20 and then maybe up to 15 there on Tuesday and that's also with about the wind gust that kind of amps up the wind just a little bit will remain to be muggy, of course, because we're going to always be pretty much humid here in Corpus Christi and the coastal bend because we're so close to the water where we'll be between very humid and oppressive with those high dew points all the way through pretty much next week. So we can expect that as well. And as the past 10 hours, once I was mentioning that we did hit 100, but once again, we had a hot one and we barely came down out of the 90s until definitely around dinner time there around seven o'clock. Kind of same story tomorrow. As far as the past month, once again, we hit 100 today and we were hot the past three days and cooler than average on the days beforehand, but we also haven't had any rain and we really do need rain and we're over halfway through August sitting at the 17th here so we could really use some to also help out our watershed there as well. And once again, for rain opportunity, we could see some maybe slightly stray of rain tomorrow. That would be due to sea breeze there. And we maybe could see some Friday night, but once again, that's a little far out. So we'll keep our eye on that. Coming up here in the next seven days, once again, I mentioned we'll stick around into the upper 90s and we can even see triple digits come Tuesday and Wednesday. But just remember, we do have a heat alert in place for Sunday from 12 to 7 p.m.